Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric and today I am going to give you my top 10 NES video game music of all time. Now let's begin. Number 10 is the Spy Hunter theme. Every time I hear this, I think of classic 8-bit action. This game used to be at the local pizzeria that I grew up next to, and I could just hear the theme music over and over all day. And just thinking about that makes me remember of a time when I was a kid and things were simpler. Going out to eat on a Friday night with the family, getting some quarters, eating a little bit of pizza, drinking some soda, and it just has that nostalgic appeal to me. And plus, it's just classic. It's, it's hard to explain, but when I think of spies, I think of the Spy Hunter theme. Number nine is Maniac Mansion, Razor's theme. Maniac Mansion is one of those games that is not really that great, but it just has this appeal to it where it just embodies what the 80s means to me and the music is even better. Each character has its own music but out of all the characters in it, Razor theme is just NES fantastic. And whenever I think of Maniac Mansion I listen to this song, the grittiness, the hardcoreness, the little it's, it's stuck in my head as one of the best NES video game music of all time and it's a pure classic. Number 8, Blaster Master. You cannot have a top 10 NES video game list without the Blaster Master Stage 1 theme. Bad freaking ass. And of course, it's a Sunsoft game. Sunsoft makes tons of great music in their games. And Blaster Master is one of the most memorable themes on the NES, in my opinion. It is freaking bad ass. Gets you hyped up. Coming up next, Bubble Bobble, the main theme that do 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 gets stuck in your head, and lots of people love Bubble Bobble. And the one thing that is great about it is that the music just gets stuck in your head, and yeah, it gets a little annoying after a while, but it just has that catchy tune to it, and forever will be etched in the minds of gamers who grew up playing Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. Coming in at number six is the Punch-Out Bike theme. Another game that I grew up on, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is easily one of my favorites of all time, and its bike theme is probably the most memorable theme out of the whole entire game. Lots of people always talk about it. It's just something that is just Nintendo. When you think of the NES, the bike theme from Punch-Out is one of those things that just, boom, pops up in people's recollection of their childhood experiences, and it's just, awesome you know i've actually trained to it before haven't trained in a while the guns are a little low but you know coming in at number five double dragon another game that i grew up playing at the arcades the double dragon theme is just amazing i freaking get goosebumps thinking about it that game was so fun to play as a kid and man the theme song was just kick ass. Just hearing it again makes me want to play the game and that is what a theme to a video game should do. When you hear that song it should make you want to play it. And Double Dragon does just that. Coming up next is the Kid Icarus Underworld theme. This game is completely underrated and so is the soundtrack. You never hear anybody talk about the Kid Icarus theme. That It sets the mood for the adventure that is ahead of you. And that is what gaming is all about. When you play a game, especially an NES game, and you're a little tight just right there, you're ready for adventure. You want to get ready for some action. And Kid Icarus's underworld theme does exactly that. To this day. To this day. Coming up at 
number three is Mega Man 2 Metal Man Stage. Mega Man 2 has all sorts of great music and it was hard to pick up one, but Metal Man just stuck it through and it just had that little catchy tune that stuck in my head and it is one of the best Mega Man songs of all time in my opinion. Mega Man 2 as a whole is just great, but Metal Man Stage, ha, huh, the music kicks serious ass. Coming up next is Journey to Cilia Stage 1. Journey to Cilia, another Sunsoft game with tons of great music, has potential. It's an underrated game to this day. People talk about it, but nobody talks about the music either. The music of Journey to Cilia is amazing. Sunsoft just knocks it out of the park again with another soundtrack. If you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out now. Number one, Castlevania 2 Bloody Tears. Now, the game does get a little bit of a bad rap out of all three of the Castlevania games, but Bloody Tears is a kick-ass song. Tons of covers have been made from it. If you know, you know that you have a great video game song if people are covering your song over and over. Tons of bands make Bloody Tears covers, and Bloody Tears, the original on the NES, is still just as great as it was the first time I ever heard it. And that's it for today, guys. That has been my top 10 NES video game music of all time. Stay tuned. You never know when I'll have another top 10 coming your way, bitches. Boom!